Yeah, and don't let us in because. Well, you may not be the only one, sir. <laughs> hey, good. To, thanks for coming out. Yeah. Appreciate it. Good to see y'all. Uh, well, I uh, the, the group certainly knows I'm coming. I RSVP'd with uh, as as a uh, as somebody listening in the audience. I RSVP'd as a speaker, and I RSVP'd as security. So if you have uh, any other standards of RSVP <laughs> that are necessary, I'm happy to fulfill those. Uh, give us one second. Sure. Oh, alrighty. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you doing? Yeah, doing okay. A little chilly, but it's November, right? Seems like a, a lot of security for an event with no protesters. That's pretty I'm security. <laughs> Let him speak. Ben, you're the How are you, sir? Free country. Country. Sure. Over here for me. Oh. How are you? I'm the head of public safety. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. You know that you weren't registered, whatever, for the group didn't register you for the event. They have strict things, Welcome so you're Soviet not Union. allowed, you know, into the benefit. Well, I mean, YAF did inform you that I was coming as a speaker, as a as a person sitting in the audience, as well as as a member of uh, Christina Huff Summers' team. So, uh, I'm not sure what other standards are necessary. I'm also wondering exactly why it's so necessary to keep me personally out. We're just following protocol, sir. Uh, well, why is your protocol to keep me specifically out? What country protocol? Soviet Union or United States? Do you want to step over here to the side? Well, I'm, I'm happy to do it right here if you'd, if you'd like. I mean, I don't think this needs to be private. The bottom line is it's a private property, okay? The, 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 it wasn't fo out. proper procedures weren't followed and you're not going to be allowed. So am I to understand that if I take three steps forward, you'll attempt to have me arrested? If you create a problem and you will not, you know, leave the campus, yes. Okay, so just to be, just to be clear, if I attempt to enter that hall right there and sit down just to listen to somebody speak, or if I attempt to ask a question sir. or to engage in free speech, you will have me arrested. At this point, yes, sir. Okay. And I'm glad that we've uh, clarified that situation. I'm also glad that uh, in a city, I mean, clearly you have great security. I'm glad in a city that has uh, some 4,000 shootings to this date, you have 30 members of security just for a 59165 Jewish guy. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> this Thank is you. maybe a mild allocation <laughs> of Thank resources. I, I need to know, is DePaul University publicly funded? DePaul University, because mm, you're not supposed to ban people from free speech. Huh. I don't know. I'll have to look into that later. But wow. Wow. Like Ben Shapiro said, they're that terrified of a 5'9", 161 little Jewish man. For what? What is it that Ben Shapiro says that People can't even be around him. He can't even be in the same room or the people are just going to wither away and die. They're going to melt. They're going to melt. God forbid. This is January 6th all over again. What a bunch of wimps. Nothing better to do. And you know what I love that he called out? I love that he called out the misallocation of police resources here. Because as he's in a town that is plagued with shootings and violent crime, they're sitting here, spending their time, making sure Ben Sh scary Ben Shapiro doesn't walk down the hall. Scary Ben Shapiro doesn't talk about fiscal responsibility and two genders. God forbid. What a joke our country is becoming. And what a joke our universities are becoming. I truly believe some of the most low IQ individuals are drawn to academia because they don't teach you how to think, they teach you what to think. They want good foot soldiers for their ideological warfare, for their agenda. They don't care. Ugh. Ben Shapiro, if I had a university, you could speak there anytime. <laughs>